time to test soldier fly larva and cold storage. So right now, we've got a lot of experience with getting mealworms uh, in cold storage so that they don't pupate, right? So you throw them in the fridge, uh, they slow down. They're still going to continue to grow so they'll eventually pupate, but you're able to throw them in the fridge, keep them that way for much longer, two, three, sometimes even four weeks. I'm less familiar with the soldier fly larva. So I've got two tests. Um, I already did a test with just 100. I put it in a fridge. Um, it was at about 45 degrees. Uh, got down to 40 at one point and did just fine. Brought them back out, put them in uh, temps of 80, and away they go. They're perfectly fine. So now I'm gonna do a bigger test. So this is about 3,000 uh, in a 32 ounce deli container uh, with holes on top. And what I'm curious about is if they will condense down and basically squash themselves, uh, the ones on the bottom. So we'll see how that goes. And then the other test I'm gonna do is in a bag and lay that bag on its side. Might be able to hear them in there. Uh, and that way, give them a little bit more um, horizontal space to pan out so, they're not so there's not so much weight on the ones on the bottom, right? Uh, so I'm gonna put them in a regular fridge, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, leave them in there for a couple days, take them back out, take them into higher temps, and then see if they still move around, if there's any lethargy, just observe, observe them at that point. So what do you think is gonna happen?